Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So it is um, Monday, guys, and it's around 6, 6 11. And um, I'm coming on. Um, haven't really done much today. Today wasn't such a great day. Um, I was probably like at a two, a two all day, two or three. And um, I'm still really at like a three, maybe close to four. If you're if you're not wondering what I'm talking about, I just assume everybody knows. But I'm I'm going by on a scale of one to ten, ten being the best, one being the worst of how I'm feeling emotionally. And um, so um, the last couple of days I've been feeling better. I've been feeling like you know, in more in the middle where I woke up today and not feeling that great. And so um, I kind of just been um, uh, hanging out not really doing much, not motivated to do really much. I have a lot of things in my mind that I want to do, but I just can't seem to get done. Um, but anyway, I had an appointment with my psychiatrist just before, and I got to change psychiatrist, first of all, because this, this guy that I have, he's an idiot. He, he, he really is. He doesn't listen to me. He just, he, I don't like what he says. I just, uh, so I'm going to look for another psychiatrist. But anyway, he raised my antidepressant. So we're going to go back to the higher dose that I was on a few months back and see how, what happens with that. So that I'm going to do. And um, so I'm just trying to push through it today um, right now. I mean, it's 6 o'clock. I really don't have much of an appetite. I did have some Cheetos before, which is really not a good thing. But uh, I don't have much of an appetite. So I'm really not going to make a big dinner tonight. What I'm going to make is it's just me and Frankie. Bill works on Monday nights um, as of right now. Starting next week, he has a different... He, um, he's working different out, different days. He's, he's not going to be working on Mondays anymore. So he has it. He'll be working on, um, Tuesdays. So anyway, but anyway, he's working tonight. And so it's just me and Frankie. So Frankie's probably going to have, I have a half of London boil in there that I'll probably just throw in there for him. And, um, I'm just going to have some chicken fries and, uh, I'm making Cooper's food now. Just heating. Well, I, I have chicken that I can give him for tonight. I have enough for tonight in the morning. And then tomorrow I got to make, um, tomorrow I got to make some chicken for him. Or I might make it later on. I'll see. But anyway, I just made rice for him and I'm making sweet potatoes that I have for him. So that's what he's going to have tonight. Chicken, rice, and sweet potatoes. I don't have any vegetables up here, just the sweet potatoes. So I'm just going to give him sweet potatoes and rice, which is fine. Um, yeah, so, um, then we realize, oh my God, there's no hot water and we're out of, we're, we're out of heating oil. So now I had to call the, the, the oil guy. So he's going to come tomorrow. Of course, it was late in the day, so he couldn't come. He can't come today. So right now we have no hot water. So I have some dishes I have to do. So I put a big, big, big pot of hot, of water on my stove that, um, I, I made hot, you know, I boiled. And it's in here, and I'm just leaving it here for later when I have to do some dishes. So I'm trying to do the least amount of dishes. So um, I do have paper dishes, which is good. So I only have a few, so it's not going to be bad. But um, anyway, yes, and he'll come tomorrow. So um, yeah, so that's one. That's another thing. And um, so I'm just hiya, yeah, yeah. We'll do some chatting, and I'll make a few fr uh, chicken fries in a few minutes. Just kind of hang out, and maybe I'll show you some of my colorings that I've been doing. I haven't been doing that many, but a few. You know, all the doctors, all this doctor does, the psychiatrist is, of course, that's what they do now. They don't, psychiatrists don't see you, Psych psychologists see you, psychiatrists just give you pills, you know, and tell you, you ask him a question, he's like, oh, I have no idea. I'm like, well, what are, you know, what if I just, like, what if one day I just went off all of this medicine? Like, I'm not on a lot of medicine, but I mean, this, this one medicine in the mind is like, I have no idea what will happen. Well, I can pretty, pretty much think I knew what would happen. I mean, like, he's an idiot. Like, I don't know, guys, I really don't know. Sometimes I just feel like, like, it, like, not even it's not even worth worth it but anyway I'm doing what I can and um I'm just gonna push through and I'm waiting for it's been beautiful out but it's still chilly today was like in the 50s 
but it doesn't feel like in the 50s. It still feels like to me it's in the 30s, you know. So I can't wait for spring to come so I can get out there. My husband's going to put my swing back up. And I'm going to start forcing myself to go sit out in the vitamin D as soon as it gets a little bit warm. Just waiting for those warm days, you know. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, tomorrow's going to be a pretty busy day. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I have to, we have to, I have to meet Jenny at a doctor's appointment. And then, um, what else do we have to do? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then Wednesday we have, me and Billy have blood work. Because then we have a doctor's appointment the following week for checkups and all that. So we have that on Wednesday. But yeah, so tomorrow that's really all I have to do. Um, but I think Thursday, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on with a special episode. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know like tomorrow or to, or Wednesday if I'm going to go live. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do a live where I'm just going to tape um, my celebration for my 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for all of your support, guys. I'm so excited about that. I got to 2,000, and it's just, um, you know, going up from here. So so that's something to look forward to, and I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about making content for the spring and the summer. Really excited. I'm going to be trying my best to be outside a lot, get outside, get active, and start moving this body a little bit, and maybe I'll feel better. I don't know. Um, I'm very, very excited to delve into my, my garden. I'm going to really, really do it good this year. Um, I'm going to do it better than last year. Hopefully, it'll all work out. But I just love it. I just love it. I, I do, you know, I'm probably going to do like three more things that I did last year. I'm venturing out just a little bit. I'm adding more to it because, um, and the things that I really did were successful on, I'm going to do better. So I'm, I think I'm going to make a list out, but I think I'm going to do for my, for my, for my garden, I'm going to do string beans. I'm definitely going to do tomatoes. I'm definitely going to do zucchini. And there was one of the... Oh, peppers. Okay, so that's... De the, those are definite. Cuc zucchini, tomatoes, peppers, and... What did I say? String beans. Those are the four that I'm definitely 100% doing. The others, I'm not sure. I want to try to maybe do corn. I want to do onions. Um, and... Um, I think I want to do cucumber. I want to try cucumber again. Last year, I tried asparagus. Nothing happened with that. And then I heard from other people and online and stuff that it takes three years to grow asparagus. So I'm out with that. I'm not even attempting that. Oh, and I'm definitely doing um, uh, parsley and basil and maybe cilantro um, and maybe dill. Um, I think I already have dill. No, is that dill? Yeah, I think I have dill in my um in my other garden already that, that comes up. So I might not do dill. But I'm definitely going to do the parsley. I'm definitely going to I have to do parsley and basil and cilantro. Love it. But I think this year I'm not going to do it with my regular in my regular garden. I'm going to do pots, two one pot, a big pot each of them and keep them separate because I just like them at to be closer to where I can get to them and then eventually I could put them over probably put them on my little um, deck thing over here. I don't know about the dog, so I have to see, but, um, yeah, I'm going to do those separate. So, um, I want to, I'm only going to do a nice handful of things, but the things that I want to do, I want them to be good and full and successful. So that's why, you know, I'm picking, choosing what I want to do. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm going to write a list out and see, um, what I want to, like, I know what I want to do, but I did some other things that I'm that I wanted to do that I planted last year never ever came to never came up you know so we'll see but anyway let's get the I uh, have some sweet potatoes in the microwave here I bought these at Walmart I bought these at Walmart a couple of weeks ago they are the um the steamable I've never bought these before I think I've I bought regular potatoes, but never, um, never the sweet potatoes. But these are steamable sweet potatoes. So it says, um, microwave on high for eight to ten minutes or until potatoes are tender. Cooking time so back. Contents hot using oven mitts carefully. Let's stand for one to three minutes. All right, so I'm going to let this stand for one to three minutes. And then, um, we'll open them up. Get Cooper's food ready. So, um. Let me get his bowl together. Where's your bowl? Oh, where's your bowl? Your bowl's in here, buddy. All 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in here for him. I also bought um, a big bag. I told you in my I showed you in my haul. I bought a big bag of um, sweet you know regular sweet potatoes because they were on sale. So let's get the the rice in here. This is what I do. I put it in these containers, keep it in the fridge. Try not to make a big mess. I like to make, um, I usually make like two cups every couple of days because I don't like it to sit in there for too, too long, you know? I make like a week's worth of food, maybe a little bit shorter than a week. I would say probably four or five days of food. And then I, you know, have to make it again. Maybe a little, like from three to five days. It depends on what I, what I do. But um, I try to make the more days, the better. At least five, six days. This way, I don't have to be um, a slave to it, you know. Because when you're a slave to it, then it's not, it's not, I mean, it's not, you know, so much fun anyway. But it's, <laughs> let me, let me get that little spatula thing. All right, guys, so um, what I do is I have my chicken fries in here, and then I have leftover shrimp and fried shrimp and fried clams from the other day on Saturday or Sunday when Dad when Dad. Dad, really? When Hubby and I got him for lunch. So I'm gonna put these in there. In that toaster oven on, on air fry. Okay, And um, I'm gonna it's not gonna work. Well, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> All right. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's just do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut um this potato open. Take it out of the thing. I just feel like taking it out of the thing because I'm not going to eat the skin. I like the way these came out though, I really do. I feel a little hungrier now. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, yeah, so comment down below what you guys are having for dinner. I'm always interested in what you guys are eating. No butter in the dish. Put this butter in the butter dish. Um, I had Frankie bring this ch chicken up, but I don't think I'm gonna make that now. I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow because I just don't feel like doing any of that right now. Alright guys, so the chicken fries are done. I heated, like I said, I heated up some clams. I heated up the potatoes. I heated up some of the clams and the shrimp from um, the other day. It's mostly just shrimp. The clams don't look like they survived too well. But I have... Alright people, so here it is. I got my sweet potato. My chicken fries, I had this leftover from on Saturday when we had a cocktail sauce. I have some tartar sauce and some honey mustard for my chicken fries. So, I'm going to go in the living room, sit down and eat this, and I'll come on with you guys in a sec. All right, so, I'm just going to eat. I'll eat a little bit with you guys, and then um, I'll get my quote and do that and i want to show you actually i'm going to show you some of my colorings that i've been doing mm, potatoes good really good i love sweet potatoes Um, oh my gosh. I did some good ones. Alright. Let's show you. I showed you that one. I know I showed you that one. I think I showed you this one, yeah. yeah. I showed you this one too. I don't know if I showed you this one. I might have shown you this one, but if I don't remember, but if I didn't. That's that one. So pretty, right? 
Love the flowers. I love to do the flowers, different colors. Let's see. I think this, I didn't show you this one. I think I just got done with this one. Yes, there. Isn't that so pretty? I love the one with the steps. I love to do the steps. So pretty. Right, guys? So much fun. Yeah, I think I finished that one last night. No, maybe I didn't. This one I finished last night. Yes, this one I finished. Frankie like, Frankie's like, why the greenhouse? I'm like, I don't know. I just wanted a green. You know, I stare at the colors for, for a minute, and I'm like, what color should I... What color should I do for this or that? I just want different colors. I want it to be different, you know? But I love the vibrant colors and the flowers. So pretty, right? And the house, I think, is really pretty in that, those greens. Love it. Let's see, the next one. I think there's one more. Yeah, that one you saw. Yeah, you've seen this one. Yeah, um, yeah, I showed you that one. This one I started, um, last night and then I got tired and I went to bed but this one is going to be this one's going to be cool when I saw this picture I was like oh we're gonna do this one because I love I love 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 the steps Look. and that's so pretty that like Victorian kind of house and I didn't you know have to finish it with the flowers and stuff but I thought that color was so nice like for the steps in the house right that's going to be really pretty. I'm excited to do that one. So, yeah, that's my coloring for now. So, tonight's going to be a coloring night and watch the TV. But I have dishes and stuff to do first, but, yeah. So we're going to eat first. Um, that's really it. I'll be back. <coughs> All right, guys. I'm finished eating. I don't know. I had the the sweet potato, and I had, like, one or two chicken fries and a couple of the shrimp. And I'm full, so I'm done. So um, I'm going to read my quote. Now, I have a couple here that I wanted to read. I think is really good. Um, do not give the past the power to define your future. I like that one because that's, I think, a lot of people do. I know I do. Do not give the past the power to define your future. Perhaps you've been assigned this mountain to show others that it can be moved. I like that too. Perhaps you've been assigned this mountain to show uh, to show others that it can be moved. I like that. Just a reminder, it is not selfish to put your recovery first. Rather, it's necessary in order to make sure that everyone else doesn't last, doesn't come last. On those really difficult days when it seems impossible to go on and you feel like giving up, just remind yourself that you've been there before and you've survived every time so you can survive this time too. I love that. On those really difficult days when it seems impossible to go on and you feel like giving up, 
Just remind yourself that you've been there before and you've survived every time. So you can survive this time too. Love that, guys. Always try to end the day with a positive thought. No matter how hard things are, tomorrow is a fresh opportunity to make everything better. Always try to end the day with a positive thought. No matter how hard things are, tomorrow is a fresh opportunity to make everything better. So take that, guys. Take that in. And this is the last one I'm going to say with, for the quotes. Don't hate yourself for everything you aren't. Instead, love yourself for everything you are. I love that. Don't hate yourself for everything you aren't. Instead, love yourself for everything you are. That's a good one. Because how many people do that? You hate yourself or you don't like yourself because you can't do certain things, your body, your whatever, your mind. You know, love yourself for everything you are, not for what you can't do or what you aren't. I love that, guys. I hope you guys take that one to heart and take that one in because that's a great quote. All right, guys, I'll, I'll show you. I did a little bit of coloring while I was eating, too. I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I did. I just did some, the pink flowers and the green. I don't think I know if I showed you the green tree, but the pink flowers. And, yeah, so I'm going to color some more. But this is my page so far. So I'm going to go. I'm sorry this wasn't a long video. I hope it was okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that um, subscribers button because when you subscribe, it really helps my channel grow. And I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that notification button. Sorry, with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share. And there's, Coop, there's Coopy. Comment down below. And thank you so much for coming into my kitchen with me and my home and creating. So I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget, guys. Subscribe. Love you. Bye.